Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. I want to add one thing to what he's saying. Give me Sarai 724. You got beautiful daughters. All these are children? Yes. Oh, praise God. You love them, right? Yes. Now, the Bible tells you how to behave as a parent when you love your children. I got a daughter. He got a daughter. Well, a lot of us got kids out here. Now, watch what the Bible says. Sirach 724. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 7 and verse 24. Read. Has thou daughters? That's you, right? Yes. Read. Have a care of their body. Read again. Have a care of their body. Have a care for their bodies. Yes. That means cover that body up. That's right. That's your responsibility. And also, you must set the example. Right. You can't just tell them. You must do it first. Right. Hold that. Can you give me that in uh, Ezekiel 16? This is love. This is love. As mom. Because, again, my wife, she had to do it, or my daughter would never do it. Right. She's looking at you. You're a hypocrite. Children know what a hypocrite is. They know that. Well, mama's not doing it. Read that. Ezekiel 16. Right. You got to set the righteous example. Read that 16 and 44. Ruth. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 16 and verse 44. Come on now. Behold, everyone that useth Proverbs. Proverbs are wise sayings. Read. Shall use this Proverbs against thee. Read. Saying, as is the mother. Oh, read that part again. As is the mother. God says, as is the mother. So is her daughter. So are your daughters. All your daughters are a reflection of you. Thus saith the Lord. You can't say, oh, your daddy didn't. No. They're going to be just like you. Right. They're going to be dressed like you. You know you got friends in the hood. They nasty. Their mama's nasty. They, they go to the club all the time. Their mom was always in the club. They single. Their mom's single. You get everything from your mother. Everything. Read on. Thou art thy mother's daughter uh -huh. that loadeth her husband. He said, you're just like your mother that loveth me, hate your husband. Black women are trained to hate their husbands nowadays. That's right. They'll look, when you go out and you show your body to other men, that's hatred for your husband. Right. right. Then your husband jealous. He's like, why that man follow you in the aisle of the grocery store? Uh, why that man try to get your number? Because he think you, he might think you're available. I can see the goods. Right. Read. And her children. Say you hate your children. When you don't correct your children, it's called hatred in the Bible. Go back to uh, Sarah. The same goes for the male. The man gonna stand up, but then he, you, you married, right? That's your, your husband? Yeah. Oh, well, it took a while. <laughs> yeah. That's your partner? Yes. Okay, that's your partner. What a wife is to a husband, and you didn't know, is a pillar of rest. That's she right. She is a support. Yes. She hold that man up. That's what she is. It's a not down. Sorry. Hold that man up in his place. That is a king. That is a god. That's right. And you go along with him to hold him up to rule the world. That's right. That's what a woman is to a man. Woman means you came from man. That's you right. that part of him that he needs. Right. That to completion. Okay. So you must be a wife. And that wife must order the children. He gonna order the household. We gonna hold that man accountable. He gotta or he gotta rule that household. Yes. But then the woman gotta be that pillar of rest. You gotta be a support. Read on. Read that right there. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 24. Come on. Hast thou daughters, mm -hmm. have a care of their body, and show not thyself cheerful toward them. That don't mean don't never smile at them. It means don't let nothing slide. You seen parents, their kids, we, uh, your kids is well behaved. Some kids right now be all on the ground, uh, in the street, playing. Because what? You want to be your daughter's friend. None of that. They don't. They don't. Mommy don't play. I'm going to show you. Read on. Marry thy daughter. Uh oh. Here's that example again. What did it say? Marry thy daughter. Boyfriend. Thy daughter. Bro, oh, marry? He said, did he say get a boyfriend? Marry thy daughter. No boyfriends. No boyfriends. That's right. No boyfriends. Right. Hands on the hips. No, put the hands down. Right. No boyfriends. Read it again. Marry thy daughter. Read. And so shalt thou have performed a weighty matter. You do something heavy. A way you marry means it's heavy to marry your daughter. That's right. You must marry these daughters. Everyone is supposed to have a righteous husband. That's right. Yes. Or this world will eat them alive. Yes, I agree. That's what it said. Don't show yourself cheerful. Don't be like, oh, who that little boy that like you? What's his name? He cute and got no job. Right. 
God has damn. no means of taking care of nobody, not even himself, live with his mama, and then he might get one of your daughters pregnant. Mm. And then who take care of the baby? You do. Me. You know that. Do we want to have their sisters? No. No, we don't want that, right? Who got a boyfriend raising here? She putting her hands in her shirt. Who got a boyfriend? Raise your hand. <laughs> you dead not. No. 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 Yeah, yeah, you love that. Yes. Read that again. Marry thy daughter, and so shalt thou have performed a weighty matter. So the goal for every black woman is to be married according to God. That's right. right. Including mom. Right. You married? Give me Ecclesia uh, is Exodus 22 16. We're gonna help you. Bring it out. You hold him. him. How long y'all been together? Ten years. Ten years? How many kids? Four. Four children. What's the deal? Ask him. Ask him? Yes. My man. I gotta ask. I'm sorry, officer. She said, ask him. Why ain't y'all married? She said, you've been together ten years, four kids. Why ain't y'all married? We try to make her the example for the daughters. It said, Matt, read that again. Uh, yeah, read Exodus. Give Exodus. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 22 and verse 16. Put your spot real quick. Okay. Need a quick answer. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed, that means you spit game to a woman and get your attention, and lie with her, have sex with her, lay down with her, obviously, he shall surely endow her to be his wife. You must make that woman your wife. Wait, That's can you read right. that one more time? Absolutely. <laughs> this is the book of Exodus, chapter 22 and verse 16. This is the Lord. This is God. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed and lie with her, he shall surely endow her to be his wife. Amen. Amen. In order by God to make that thing happen. That's right. That's right. That's what he said. Romans 8 and 16, you mean? <laughs> what do you say? Romans, Romans 8 and 16. We get Romans 8 and 16, yeah. then. Let's bring it out. Oh, oh, bring it out. Let's bring Romans 8 and 16. Okay. It's the book of Romans, chapter 8 and verse 16. <laughs> the Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit. So God says, you want in Romans 8 16, the Spirit itself, the Spirit is this Bible, it's a capital S. That's this Bible, read. Bear witness with our spirit. Man, we agree with this Bible. Our soul agrees with what the Bible says. That we are the children of God. So if we do what the Bible says, we are the children of God. Right. Go back to Exodus chapter right. 22 verse right. 16. Right. This right. is the book of Exodus chapter saying? 22 and verse 16. Right. And if a man entice a maid. So if the spirit man witness with a man and he entices a maid. That is not betrothed. And she's not already married to nobody or promised to nobody. And lie with her. And he has sex with that woman. That's okay, God says. Read. He shall surely, it's okay if you surely, endow her to be his wife. Endow that woman to be your wife. What that that means either she take you and the father gives her, or read on the next verse. Verse 17. Seven, verse 17. Come on. If her father utterly refused to give her unto him. That means you got to have a relationship with the father of her. You got to go ask for her. You might have to pay for her. There might be a dowry. So that's how much you got to put into getting married to their sister if the spirit bear witness with your spirit. Read on. He shall pay money according to the dowry of virgins. Is it going to take money? Or you think it is work out? Yeah. Yeah? What kind of money? What are you Are you going to get married to that sister? Yeah, but see, my question was. Okay, come on now. saying that she said was my wife, but yeah. where the time frame at in there? Where the time frame? Let's say between Let's give me Psalms 119 and 59. Hey, 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 hey. Give me some, uh, that's an excellent question. Give me Psalms 119 verse 59. There is a time frame. The Bible got all the answers. Right. You may not like them. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 59. I thought on my way. This is a spirit bearing witness with our spirit. When you think on your ways, right now, if you're not married and you're in a sexual relationship, God calls it fornication. Right. Yes. He don't call boyfriend, girlfriend. He calls it fornication. He calls it sin. Yes. Read. Okay. And turn my feet. I'm going to stop doing sin. I'm going to stop fornicating. I'm going to turn my feet unto thy testimonies. I'm going to do what the Bible says. Right. Turn your feet to the testimonies. And I'm going to do what the Bible says verbatim. Read. I made haste. Here's the time frame. Come on, Brad. Oh, man. Right there you right here. Come on. I made haste. There's the time frame. I made haste. That's uh -huh. right. Hurry the hell up. 
Right. That's what God said. That's, That's right. right. And delayed not. Delay me. Oh, we can do it next year. We can do it in two years. Which he might already told you. We're gonna do it in five years, baby. Oh, Six yeah. years when I get my when I get my new job. Right. We've been there. I done did it. Right. Brothers done did it. Right. We ain't never gonna get married. The plan is to stall her out till she forget. What? That's what the plan is. Come on, bro. We know what the plan is. You gotta repent. It's time to turn and make haste. That's right. That's your wife. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.